Hello everyone, this is Juan Carlos Mensewich and in behalf of my wife and the whole staff here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, we want to thank you for partnering with us, for being with us together in the harvest. Thank you for your prayers, thank you for your support, thank you for your love, for your concerns, for your notes, your emails, and everything else. Without you, it will be literally impossible to reach and to do everything that we are doing. Right now, we are in the sixth month of confination, of uh, quarantine. Uh, the government uh, just don't find a way out. Uh, Argentina yesterday reached the fourth place of the spreading, the rapidity of the spreading of this virus. It's the fourth country most contagious in the world. I think first is America, second India, maybe third is Brazil, but I know Argentina is the fourth. Um, and because of this long, long quarantine where you cannot move from one city to another, I'm talking about close cities, it's just causing a disaster. Uh, people are losing their jobs, people are getting depressed, oppressed. Well, like everywhere else, we understand that this is all over the world. But right now here, things are getting really bad. Crime rate has raised uh, three times what it used to be two months ago. In spite of all of that, I don't know, thinking about what, but the government released 5,000 criminals because they were getting uh, this COVID in prisons that are overpopulated. And now we are locked down in our homes. They're free out there doing their thing. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. We have to close our um, all of our churches and Bible schools or training centers. And also we have to give back some of the buildings that we had to rent renting we have been renting for school and for churches but we kept those that God gave us allowed us to purchase in the last few years and each one of them became a feeding center a clothing center and a medical center every year through four different kitchens children kitchens we fed the children well right now those kitchens are everybody's feeding center plus the churches um, right now, right now, but these are numbers from last month, more than 1,500 people every week, 1,500 families, not people, families, are fed every week through those churches and through those feeding centers. We give them clothes, we uh, provide them warm food, some food to take home, like rice, beans, sugar, all of that that they need, milk. And also we have some medical teams through nurses and doctors that check on them, any trying to find any symptoms from COVID or other symptoms. You know, people don't want to go to hospitals because of the COVID, uh, but you know, they're dying of heart attacks because of uh, diabetes and any other kind of things and germs and bacteria and other kinds of infections. So we try to, um, try to redirect them and give them advice and treat them right there in the centers. And uh, so it's, you, as you can imagine, it have increased the activity in those centers like never before, like never before. And uh, also the spiritual need is tremendous. And since we can't do both things at the same time, because they come and we need to feed them, we need to clothe them, we need to minister to them, we. God showed us and we came up with this idea of building a prayer, an altar of prayer uh, through uh, Facebook and the other platforms like YouTube and others. And it's tremendous what God is doing. Actually, I can say that since two, three months ago, a revival broke out through this. Thousands of people connect to this altar of prayer. Only in real time, alive, we have more than 1,500 people in between YouTube and Facebook connected, just listening and placing their prayer request, placing their need there. And in real time, we can pray for them. And God gave us the grace to put together more than 200 intercessors 
most of them are pastors and their wives praying and interceding down their knees before the Lord and in real time they're responding I mean you put your prayer request and somebody will write a prayer for you and just to let you know that we are really praying uh, for you and that is in real time since the transmission gets there as you know in social media during the day more than 20,000 people you can see it by yourself you can check those stats it's there more than 20,000 people connects and during the weeks this transmission reached to millions and I'll tell you why number one because of the stats that uh, Facebook and YouTube and Instagram gives us number two because we could connect also into those countries especially one I will not mention that I've been working for the last 10 years um, you know we have schools in those countries and uh, those schools are meeting are meeting well we are teaching them through Zoom, Webex, and another platforms of their that they that are very popular in their country. So we transmit our classes. That's very tiring because that's in two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, just to trying to match their time zone change. But also we connect them into the altar, and they pick the signal and they retransmit that altar of prayer because they pray in their language we pray in our language but then together pray in the spirit and only God knows where all of this is getting what I can tell you is that we're receiving hundreds you you can connect yourself and, and check it by yourself hundreds of testimonies salvations transformations healings creative miracles that just happens and the people just write to us hey this happened this happened here when you gave this word you, this happened when when you were praying you guys were praying for this when somebody sent the respond to my prayer request it's so we're just enjoying revival revival in the midst of all of this uh, actually uh, we have our Bible schools and uh, training centers their buildings they're closed but keep on we keep on the classes through zoom and another platforms and it doubled the numbers of students so now we have more students God is filling up them with power they are getting very excited because a lot these reports of revival and the response and the backing and support of heaven to their own prayers because they're also part of this uh, intercessors group and so God is moving and igniting them. We're ready to go back. I mean, we're ready for the opening. Once they allow us to go back, the church is going to be in fire. We have seen more conversions in this season, in the last three months, than in the last three years, than in the last three years. So we are very excited because God is ready and the people out there are ready. Let's just let me close with this testimony. We have been building a school, little school really, in the suburbs of one of the cities in our ministry in Mexico, the city of Querétaro. And this school that we were building, uh, just uh, it, the pandemic came and the resources went down, and so we have to slow them and eventually to stop. But that school is for pe kids in the street. We pick up the kids in the street, we feed them, we clothe them, and then we teach them the secular school so they will not raise without any education. Well, we were doing that in a little shackle under a tent because we, we uh, managed to buy the land. And so now, uh, then we started building it and we had to stop. Well, the kids came and said, please don't stop, build our school. Listen, you don't have the money to pay builders, we will do it. Actually, you're gonna see pictures right now. We will do it, just count with us. So the neighbors that don't know the Lord, people from the society started coming and, and here is some cement, here's some bricks, please, what, what else do you need? There are some wood here, what, what, what else do you need? And the kids and us and the teachers, we're all working and the work of the Lord reactivated. And it's like in the book of Nehemiah, when they were building in the book of Haggai, when they were rebuilding the temple, God is lifting up the hearts of the people. And in the midst of all of this, we are in revival. So not everyone and all of they are bad news. So three things I want to leave you with. Number one, yes, these are difficult days in the, in the world, but God is moving. God is manifesting His grace and His power. 
Number two, God is using his body, you and I, people that are partnering with a kingdom mentality, with the right priorities, and the body and the sons of God are responding to the cry of the creation. And number three, everything that you sow, like a seed that you throw in the ground, in the kingdom of God is going to come back to you very blessed. So I pray in this moment that God will touch you, will touch your family, will touch your church, and will provide everything that you need. Will cover you, will touch your city, will touch your nation, will touch your church, and all the glory will be given to God. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for everyone that is willing to sow in God's kingdom. And thank you for this revival and this season of the manifesting of your power. Now, Lord, we give you all the glory to you. Amen. I just can't wait for the airport to open so Fabian and I can fly and go and catch plane and see, number one, our grandchildren, and number two, to see you all. God bless you.